Hello my friends. In this video we are going to talk about the checkboxes. Checkboxes allow the user to select one or more options from a set. Typically you should present each checkbox option in a vertical list. So we go to the buttons here and we drag and drop a checkbox. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. Either you can put a create a checkbox by, uh, by doing that in the XML. So to create each checkbox option, create a checkbox in your layout. And because a set of checkbox options allow the user to select multiple items, each checkbox is managed separately and you must register a click listener for each one. So how to respond to a click event for the checkbox? We can declare a checkbox here, instantiate a checkbox. Checkbox equal to new checkbox or sorry, equal to find view by id r dot id dot checkbox. <clears throat> if you see, we have imported the checkbox here. Now, I will infer its constraint by clicking this and adding a constraint to it. Now. <clears throat> When the user selects a checkbox, the checkbox object receives an onClick event. To define the click event handler for a checkbox, we can add simply, like the button, the onClick here, onClick, but it is deprecated attribute, and we prefer adding it to the uh, to the Java file. Okay, so we can add on click and we specify the method that we are going to use and the trigger when the user click it, or we can make it as an on click event. So with activity within the activity that hosts this layout, the following method handles the click event for both for a checkbox. Okay, I can make another checkbox here. This is checkbox one, and this is the checkbox two. I will name it as checkbox two. Checkbox two will be under this. Checkbox two. I like, uh, for example, pizza, and this is, for example, um, pizza burger which type you prefer so this is this is uh, the checkbox is usually uh, used in the apps for food for uh, for uh, for taking the orders or for selecting for allowing the user to select multiple things so these are preferable in the apps that may uh, take an uh, take an uh, order or select multiple things okay so let me define the checkbox number two, checkbox number two. Now, if you need to change this checkbox state yourself, like for example, if you need to initialize these, these checkboxes for a trigger, for ticked or clicked, you can put the checkbox, uh, checkbox one dot set uh, checked, to true, for example, okay? So you run the app, it will be showing a tick here. Now, I will show you the usage of the app of having the checkbox by using the checkbox on click. And then later on with one of uh, our projects, we will see how to add the checkbox functionality to the uh, to the uh, main activity or do that in the Java. So we can make like uh, set on click listener. You can set on a click, but I will show you the way that it is uh, much simpler using the uh, using the on click 
of the XML. So I will create a method called on check box clicked. Okay, this is the same. I will copy it and paste it here also. So they are related to a method called on check box clicked. I will start creating a public void on check box clicked and we pass the view as we have learned before and it has been changed to yellow because this would be using it so this method would be called okay and have been used <clears throat> now is the view now checked we start by boolean check it equal to we cast it to checkbox checkbox and view and this view we put is checked this boolean expression will be stored inside this boolean uh, variable and then we check if the uh, checkbox was clicked switch which checkbox is clicked let me which check box is or was clicked switch we switch by view dot get id and if the in case of case we are checking which id which checkbox it have been checked according to the id so the first id is checkbox number one case r dot id dot checkbox the first checkbox if it is checked then what to do uh, toast i make toast this this context and what to display this is for pizza pizza else else what to do also a toast this uh, no pizza Okay, so if the user clicked on the pizza, it will show pizza. Otherwise, it will show no pizza when he does not click it. Break, because we need to break from the switch. Now, the case number two. Case, if the user clicked on the checkbox number two, what to do? If checked, then the user select the burger or we can check it uh, name it as like cheese okay so toast this plus cheese or cheese me otherwise it would be else it would be toast this not no no cheese that's good and we break from this okay now let's run our app and see how it works so this is the logic behind using the checkbox it is multiple checkbox multiple checkbox multiple options allowing the user to select many options um, the method you declare in the android on click which is here 
attribute must uh, have a signature exactly as shown here so it would be public it would return void and define a view as its only perimeter this will be the view that was clicked okay this is very important and we have learned this view in the previous uh, videos when we do, when we learn about the buttons and the, uh, the texts pizza so the it will display pizza with the cheese so cheese me okay so we have clicked these checkboxes and displayed these the results and stored them and we have interacted correctly with these 